Today we're going to talk about Master and Commander by Patrick O'Brien, which is about sailors, which means it's time for a thematically appropriate hat! So Master and Commander is the first in a series of novels that Patrick O'Brien wrote about Captain Jack Aubrey and his BFF, Dr. Stephen Maturin. It is set during the Napoleonic Wars and deals with a Britain's Royal Navy. And this first book is all about the two of them meeting and becoming friends and Captain Aubrey becoming Captain Aubrey and getting his first command of a ship. And then there is seafaring and adventure and such. So this book didn't totally work for me. This is one of those books that's generally thought of as being like a dude book, which is one of those distinctions that makes me irritated. Like anytime somebody is like, oh, I don't think you'll like this, it's a dude book, I yell, fuck you, and I punch them and steal the book. I do not actually do any of those things. It's just one of those things that is so often used condescendingly that it just gets in my craw, even if the person using it doesn't mean anything by it. But I bring this up because I, I hate to play into stereotypes about my gender, but I didn't really like the parts of this book that were about sea battles, and I did like the parts that were just people sitting around and talking about their feelings. Okay, see, here's the thing. The friendship part of it, super good. It's compelling. And I think I've mentioned this before, but I love stories where the main relationship is a platonic one. Like that aspect of it, totally awesome. But the sea battles, I, I still can't decide if this is my fault or the books, but I could not understand what was happening during them. I think the primary issue is that I don't have a good working knowledge of early 19th century sailing. So I'm just sitting there during all of the like seafaring parts going, what is a jib? This, this diagram at the front indicates that it's the second foremost sail, but what does it do? Seriously, this diagram is all you get when it comes to understanding what the hell anyone is talking about in regards to the technical aspects of sailing. I don't know, maybe I wasn't working hard enough to understand it, but I feel like I was. So, bottom line, if you are familiar with sailing, you will probably dig this. It's a good book. I don't, so it was alright, but I will probably not be continuing with the series. I'm taking off this hat. <laughs> All right, that is everything that I wanted to talk about. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.